There's one person I gained a lot of respect for, for their work ethic, it's my mom. And I probably didn't even realize it till I was old enough to be out of the house and doing my own laundry and my own cooking and looking back and thinking, wait a minute, she all she did this for five boys and her husband, plus milked cows, plus fed cows, plus fed calves, plus helped bale hay, plus helped mow hay, and everything else. And my, my mom was, uh, you know, she was uh, a farm girl herself. And because of that, she, she loved doing chores. She would rather been in the barn all day long than do any, anything in the house. Remember when we, you know, we'd, we'd be, we'd bale hay, right? Who was the first one to go in the 120 degree hay mow and mow hay? That would be mom. That'd be mom. We Not hated, we Not hated going in the hay mow. It was, it was hot. And you had to watch for the bales falling down and dust and because and, there's no air exchange in there. We want to be out in the wagon where you're unloading and you got the air blowing past you. But she loved being in that mow and she would sweat from head to toe and she just loved every part of it. She wanted nothing to do with that wagon. She wanted to be in the mow. She was seven, eight months pregnant and climbed the silo to bring the silo workers lunch. <laughs> they were a little upset with her. <laughs> But that was my mom. She can find good in anybody. Yeah. She can find good in anything. Um, I think she influences me more now at 49 years old than she ever has from that aspect. I see that. I did, probably didn't see that when I was a kid. Just kind. Just genuinely kind and good. And that's, I wish I was more like her. But in looking back on it, it's, she made a good home. Um, we always had good food to eat. Um, she had a big garden. Um, she did a lot for us. To, she did an awful lot for us. We, we had a good home and, and uh, we were always safe and well fed and yep.